kysymyksessä. Katoisi, jos Richard Nixon olisi presidentti. Want to go around? And stop! That's it for today! Thank you, boss! on, cause We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry. It's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't fall. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Here. Ah, 
Thank you. Mm. I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Professor. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear Yo, the CIA hey, yeah. may be involved. The CIA? As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. That you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. Hmm. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? No. Yo. Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't gonna do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. This is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. A town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Oh. My God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small. 
and she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz, and I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. Jaha, ne tietää kuka toi on. Valko vähän jätettää muuten toi ääni tuossa äsken. Prologi. Armi ilman, armi ilman rajoja. No kyllä toi aika palkkasoturi nimeltä kuulostaa minusta. Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Snake, don't you think you could use a little more practice? Hey, hunt that was. Ei mitään ongelmaa. Ruosteinen aina kaikissa peleissä muuttuu nokkoa I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. And break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her, aren't you? For her. Kautumia. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant, a place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, Kaz. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Ah, this damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, cuz. It's time for a little chat with the professor. I was a heavy smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet. 
Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose all. its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then, drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were, too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Poisonous. I need to get rid of it. I chase it back to its nest. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's all... Many people. I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Awesome. Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. Uh huh. What? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? I... I am loyal to myself. Oh, this is live in Costa Rica. Who's that? It's 
As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. It's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Snake? I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. Okay. For peace, then. Ankka kävelyä vaan koko ajan, paikasta toiseen. Yes, sir, we broke them. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged, Al. Freeze! The cargo. Where's it headed? What is it? Air suit. In the mountains! What's up there? Clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Cause this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Yeah, the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, who did not that would mean? Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy Mother of God. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? It tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. 
Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Openall will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it... Latin America's too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. Hey, boy, we need to find out what that yeah. something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. It looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can oh, bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. radio so you can contact our young lady friend Paz. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's tougher than you think. Still just a kid. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? Uh, I guess. I'll put her on. Snake. Paz, where are you? Ciudad Colon. A school. The teacher told me to stay here until things quiet down. Teacher? Oh, him. He's... Yeah, that's probably good advice. <laughs> See, boss, yeah. he has a radio in his room, so we can talk anytime. Oh, pretty fancy for a teacher. Promise me, Snake, that you'll bring back peace and... I know. I'll contact you if I find your friend. Thank you. Snake, if you need to know about Costa Rica, the geography, the climate, the wildlife, anything. Just ask me. I know about its history and laws, too. We learned it all in school. Got it. I have a question. I'll ask. I, uh... What? In school. I also learned that peace is an unnatural state for human society. And that war is a constant threat to our relationships with others. That's right. So, to achieve peace... We have to create it ourselves. Crying about it won't bring it about or make it last. Each one of us must go and seek it out. You won't find it without making sacrifices. No offense, but I don't know what peace is. Never felt what it's like. Huh. Never even been interested in it. Snake? Oh, sorry. Listen, Paz, I think your ideas are admirable. And I hope they turn out to be right. Yeah. Me too. Peace is in your name. Who better to help bring it back? Thanks, Snake. I will be here whenever you need me. See you later. Snake, use your radio to call people. But stay alert. You're in the middle of a mission and can't afford to let your guard down. Got it. Need to know more about Costa Rica? Haas can help you out. Good to know. We'll follow their transport route. This should take us straight to their main base. From what I've seen, it looks like nukes. Agreed. The key thing now is to confirm whether those spears really are what we think they are, and if so, why they're here. Follow the transport route. Find the nukes. That's what I'm thinking. First, we should make contact with the Sandinista Comandante. They can tell us more about what's up ahead. But it looks like their hideouts already come under attack. <sighs> we better hope they're still alive. Snake, infiltrate that cabin and secure the Sandinista's Commandante. Neutralize any guards by knocking them out, putting them to sleep, or even using the Fulton recovery system. You choose how to handle it, boss. Okay, um... I'm not lying, 
kertaa mukaan, mulla ei taida olla mitään muuta järkevää. Jo analaisen tarvii tar 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 vähän niinku valikoida, että mikä niistä on se paras tyyppi. Mutta pakko tervetä. Country without an army. Joka maassa on yksi armeija, se ei välttämättä ole oma. Viidakon sananlasku. Eli. Siinä vaan yksi, yksi sotilas tuli tuonne paikalla, kun tuli hälytys. Mulla ei ääne vaan minulta enää. The boathouse should be close by. Neutralize the security detail and make contact with the commandante. Tietysti nää saa poistettua täältä näin, niin... Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Enemies back! Fultonit vaan loppuu. Enää ei oteta kyllä noita e-miehiä. prisoners up above uh -huh. but first you'll have to deal with those soldiers Who's Stay with me, you bastard! 
Push me, get away! Guinness! Hicksie! No way! What do we do? Sandinista's right. I'm looking for someone. Mi viejo! Shh! He's dead. They killed nuestro viejo. You're his daughter. Oh, and that makes you his Delgado, right? Relax, I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Mm -hmm. A cigar? I'll take whatever you've got. Huh. Can't keep all the time with the I owe you one. But I prefer cigarettes, you know. How do I look? A little like El Che, no? You Cubano? Colombiano, a photographer. I came to Costa Rica to take pictures of birds. Uh huh. Birds? Yeah, uh, Quetzals. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's all in the timing. Oh. Let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! Tell me what's going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security, more like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard there are security force hired by Codessa. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Papa Noel. Those guys are UCLA's. UCLA's? La Cia. I saw them, setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is, it's not us. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew, on the Rio del Jade? You mean the barge? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there, but I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compas, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it! All right! This was our last hideout, the final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica. Then, a monstruo attacked. Huh. A monster. Y mi viejo. Mi viejo. Papa. It was la esperanza. Our hope. Now that Papa's gone, my sister's la comandante de la revolución. Do not listen to him. Papa was a hero who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. It takes someone great to unite all of Las Compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves. Neither do heroes. You carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? My compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! <laughs> See what I mean? El Colibri!
the hell? It's a hombre nuevo, an unmanned weapon, a robot. No, he won't survive the fall. Out of my way! Better for him to die at the hand of a compa than suffer their torture. Stay here. As long as I'm still alive, I might as well be here. Over here! Find Chico! Eskaloitu aika nopeasti. Snake vaan pisti päänsä niinkun... ...mielenkiintoinen paikkaan niinkun maailmassa. Seerankki. Heidät näin. Mutta hyvää päivän jatkoa. Kiitos katsomista.